the african verdict from leaves of antiquity or the poetry of the hebrew tradition by johann gottfried herder seventeen forty four to eighteen hundred and three this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox org alexander of macedonia once entered into a neighboring and wealthy province of africa the inhabitants came forth to meet him and brought him their robes filled with golden apples and fruits eat this fruit among yourselves said alexander i am not come to see your wealth but to learn your customs they then conducted him to the market where their king administered justice a citizen just then came before him and said i have bought of this man o king a sack full of chaff and have found in it a secret treasure the chaff is mine but not the gold and this man will not take it again command him o king that he receive it for it is his own and his antagonist a citizen also of the place answered thou fearest to retain anything unjustly and should not i also fear to receive such a thing from thee i have sold thee the sack with all that was in it keep it for it is thine command him o king the king inquired of the first one if he had a son he answered yes he inquired of the other if he had a daughter and the same answer yes was returned well then said the king you are both just men marry your children to each other and give them the discovered treasure as a marriage portion that is my verdict alexander was astonished when he heard this decision have i judged unjustly said the king of this remote country that thou art thus astonished not at all answered alexander but in our country they would have judged far otherwise and how then would they have judged inquired the african king both parties would have lost their heads answered alexander and their treasure would have fallen into the hands of the king then the king clasped his hands together and said does the sun then shine upon you and do the heavens still shower their rain upon you alexander replied yes it must then be continued the king for the sake of the innocent beasts which live in your country for upon such men no sun should shine and no rain should fall end of the african verdict by johann gottfried herder seventeen forty four to eighteen hundred and three